Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel Langophilia. In this video I would like to explain to you some yeah, clothes, clothing articles in Albanian, especially in the Gek dialect from Kosovo. So for example how to say, I don't know, shirt, t-shirt, trousers, pants, socks, etc. in Albanian. This time I would like to start with the general term clothes or clothing. This is called tesha, tesha, or also roba, roba in Albanian. Roba or tesha, that's clothes. Let's continue with the t-shirt. So what I'm wearing right now, this is a t-shirt. This is called maits, maits, or some people would say maritz with a r in between, maritz. A shirt, so like a business shirt, a shirt is called kmish, kmish. Trousers or pants are called pantola, pantola, or also pantalona, pantalona. I think the term pantola is more common in Kosovo though. Shoes are called kpuca, kpuca. And if we want to talk about sneakers or trainers, these would be called atleta in sound Albanian. Atleta, but a more common term in Kosovo would be patika, patika, and some people would even call them puma, puma, like the brand. Another important item of clothing is uh, are the slippers in Albanian. These are called papuche, papuche. Um, socks would be choropa, choropa. A jacket would be called jakne, jakne. Or also seter, seter. A sweater would be jumper, jumper. Or some people would maybe call it jumper, jumper. A hoodie would be dux, dux. A dress would be called fustan, fustan. High heels or stilettos would be called stikla, stikla. A tracksuit or a sweatsuit which you would wear for doing sport. This you would call uh, trenerka, trenerka. A scarf which you would wear around your neck. This would be shal, shal. A belt or a girdle. This would be rup, rup. A hat or a cap or a beanie, whatever you wear on your hat, would be called kapuch, kapuch. Or some people would call it maybe kapil. Kapil or maybe ksul, ksul. Then if we wear gloves in the winter around your hands, these would be called dorza, dorza. And the last item on my list is the, the glasses. Glasses are called suza, suza, or some may call them even uh, juzluka, juzluka which comes from Turkish, I believe, originally. So these are the most important um, items of clothing, in my opinion, that I chose for this video. I hope you liked the video. I hope you learned something new today. So remember, for clothes in general, you can say tesha or roba. And yeah, the other items are pretty straightforward, I would say. I um, told you several words, sometimes synonyms. Um, if you like the video, press the like button, subscribe to my channel, write a comment and follow me on Instagram at adkuchi. I will um, link you everything in the description box down below so you can find everything easily. And yeah, thanks very much for watching. See you next time on Lango Filia.